Hey everyone, I'm Max from Unsubscribed Healthcare. I wanted to show you how to make an easy uh, and free way to log in your employee information using an NFC reader, or you can do this also for your students. As you can see, as soon as I tap it, it logs me in. This is specific to a student or a person, and you can change it and reformat it anytime you have your classes change or your employees change. If you like this video, feel free to comment and subscribe down below. Get Thanks started by making a new sheet then you're going to go to create new form, add questions here. I'm just going to keep it simple by saying name and ID. And then we're going to want to come over here to the top right where it says more options. Get pre-filled link. Name will be max, ship own. ID will be MS12345. Obviously, if you have a employee, you'll put in the employee name and then you'll put in the employee ID. Then you're going to click on get link, copy link, and then we're going to come over here to a text editor and we're going to edit this link. This is all it is. It's really simple. You're going to change the view form question mark to uh, form response question mark and it is case sensitive so you do want to make sure that that is a capital R and then at the end we want to add and submit equals capital S submit and then when we copy and paste this link into our browser what you're going to notice is that in here we will have the response automated so I copy and paste it and then you say that it says your response has been recorded. So I didn't have to input anything. But then you see Max Shippen has been recorded and the ID has been recorded. To change this for multiple different people, it's easiest to do it in the text response right here. You can paste it and then you can see where it says Max Shippen. We can put Tom Brady and then we will give him TB12. I'm going to copy and paste this just to show you that it does work. Paste, press enter, and then you can see over here, Tom Brady has been added. And so you would do this for multiple different um, students, for multiple different employees, and then that way you're able to check in and see when they're clocking in and out. The way that you would add it to an NFT card, or NFC card, is you would get a program like this, you would come over to where it says write, you're going to add a record, go to URLs, and you're going to simply paste the URL that we just had. All right, so you can see this one's for the Tom Brady. We'll get rid of the www or the HTTPS at the front, and we'll select that here, HTTPS. Okay, and we'd click OK, and then we'd click write. I can do this on my phone because my phone has an NFC scanner and reader. That's what you use to tap your iPhone or your Samsung to a um, pay pad or a wireless pay pad where you can pay through your phone. It's the same chip and it can read and write when you have these other separate ones. I'm going to show you what that looks like now. So this is using NFC tools. What you want to do is click on write, add a record, and then go to URL and paste in your URL. If you only can do this on your phone, I recommend texting yourself or emailing yourself all of the URLs you're going to be using. You're going to do this one at a time. Click on Write, and then you're going to tap your NFC tag to it. Now to test it out, tap it to your phone again. And now you can see that a Google Forms site will open up, and the form has been submitted. And to show you guys the final results, all you have to do is tap click the link and now you can see that Tom Brady was added and then if we use the other NFC we're gonna tap click that link now you can see that Max Shippen was added so that's a really easy way to um, add it if you have more information you're gonna need one of these chips uh, these hold 540 bytes of data whereas the other ones only hold like 200 so sometimes it can be not enough storage on those but this is a pretty easy way to uh, get it all going and make a really effective way to take attendance or have your employees sign in i hope this was helpful make sure to subscribe down below